Zanini is the thing you get when you want to flaunt some flair. What's inside the new Zanini box, the monthly collectible pin subscription service. I'd like to consider I have a very small list of pet peeves in life, but pretty high on that list are showboaters. I'm not a big fan of people that go around flaunting the things that they have. The exception to that rule, though, is people that have collectible pins. I am always seem to be hoeing in on people in retail stores, like if they have vests, for example, not only just the name tags, but the things that they also put on there as well. They're, quote, pieces of flair. You go to craft markets, for example, and you have women dressing in their Christmas sweaters and they have those little light up collectible pins. I will admit I have occasionally gone up to them and said, excuse me, do you mind if I look at the pin that you have on your sweater? Is that a bit strange? Maybe what's not strange is that every single month, Zanini Box will deliver to your doorstep a collection of collectible pins and more. We're going to go ahead. We're going to open up the box. That will, of course, involve me having to cut the tape that's on the top of the box and freeing the pins from their cardboard prison. But we're going to check out the contents that one would expect to get. Should you wish to subscribe to the Zanini Box, the link will be down below in the video description. What are kind of pet peeves that you have in your life? Let me know down below in the comments section. Showboaters, pretty high in that list. Ugh, I don't like showboaters. I'm going to take my knife, though. Not swing it so aimlessly into the air here, but what I'm going to do is target, focus in on those swings. I'm going to cut the tape on either side, on either side of the tab flap here, and cut it on the other side. Let's open this up. It would be funny if I just opened this flap up and it went, and a puff of smoke and particles all floated into the air. I don't know why I would find that so funny. I just won't be more intrigued than anything else. Uh, we've got ourselves some magnets, so we can put that down just for the time being. Oh, I see something on the top that has piqued my curiosity. One of the other things, of course, that Zanini Box are known for having is collectible cards. I'm going to put the pins here for the time being. Put the pins here for the time being. Move it further back so you can see it. Product placement, of course, is key. Let's open up the trading cards. Seems to always be the first place that we start in these reviews. Um, Zanini Box, just in case you were new here, 411 on Zanini Box is not only are you getting collectible pins, but you're also getting yourself uh, trading cards. Now, of course, the trading cards are categorized by different classes. Like, for example, you have comics along the top here. You have Flash, for example, the Incredible Hulk, with Future Imperfect uh, Hulk there. And is that Maestro? You also have Captain America down below. Then for movies and TV, you have Unforgiven, The Silence of the Lambs, and Breaking Bad. Down below, video games, Assassin's Creed, Valhalla, Streets of Rage 4, and Star Master. Classic cards. I love that. Each one of the cards, by the way, and more 411 coming your way, each one of the cards does give you a breakdown. And it's not only just the comics as well, but even if you look at the actual movie ones, like Unforgiven, name Unforgiven, director Clint Eastwood, distributed by Warner Brothers, release date August 7th, 1992, and a runtime of 131 minutes. There is also a QR code on each one of the cards that you can scan for yourself that will open up in your phone places that I think you can wear. You can either pick up, like the, the comic books, for example, not really sure yet. I haven't tried it yet with the TVs or the film to see what that does. And there's also the same thing can also uh, work with the video games as well. So you get yourself the trading cards. Immediately after this review, I'd like to put those into my trading card sleeves. Okay, so let's have a look at the, the actual pins that we got this time around. I'm going to put the insert just to the side because we don't want to look at that just yet. Pulling out the first pin, and what a good place to start. We've got ourselves a classic No Ghost Ghostbuster logo. That looks awesome. The one thing also that goes with these Zanini box pins is that there's also a corresponding magnet that are actually inside that baggie there. But there's the no, no Ghost logo. This is a limited edition apparently down below. If anything should have been put to a lapel or jean jacket, it would definitely be the Ghostbusters logo. I don't mind at all if you want to showboat this. You can showboat a No Ghost logo any day of the week if you ask me. Each one of the pins, by the way, there's the back on the back of the pin. It goes right on there. Put that to the side. Let's see what else we have in here. That has already, like I said, piqued my curiosity. Uh, the next one we're going to have a look at is R2-D2. Sort of like in a cartoon styling of R2-D2, like the, the, the cartoon droids. Anybody remember droids from the 80s? It was kind of a companion cartoon to Ewoks. E, 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 Ewoks. Great cartoon. 
Not something I think that holds up as well nowadays, but droids and Ewoks, great. They really need to release the complete series on DVD. I think they only released like a, a two episode of each. Definitely would be more interesting with the Druids, not the Druids, Drewlocks. It was with the Dewlocks, I think it was. I think that's what they were called. But that definitely looks like an animated style of R2-D2. Put that to the side. I think they were called Dewlocks. Next, we have Johnny Cage from Mortal Kombat. This one comes, of course, backed onto a circle backing. Classic-looking Johnny Cage. Looking very arrogantly. If anyone was going to showboat, Johnny Cage would be pretty, pretty high on the showboaters list. And of course, you've got the little pin backing there on the back. Let's see what else we have in here. Oh, like this one. We have Masters of the Universe Beast Man. It seems like the diamond-shaped back logo there, or the back shape that he's actually in there, is barely containing him. It looks like Skeletor has told him just to kind of fit in there, and he's like, Skeletor, I just can't do it. That's a horrible Beastman impression, by the way. Yeah, that, that background is barely holding him. He is squished in there. Poor Beastman, always doing what Skeletor tells him to do. Like that quite a bit as well. And the last pin, I say, I say, we've got Foghorn Leghorn, uh, one of my dad's favorite Looney Tunes characters, Foghorn Leghorn. Of course, the abuse that he puts onto that dog, I would think it's not probably the most acceptable thing that we would we would have nowadays in cartoons. Pummeled that poor dog. Maybe the dog was deserving of it, though, or he'd always have the dog. I think he pushed the, the doghouse back so the dog would g think that he could go and grab onto Foghorn Leghorn. And he always came up just a little bit short. Foghorn Leghorn. That is awesome. I'm trying to think, actually, what my favorite pins are. I don't know if I do this every single time, but I just want to fan out all the pins that we've got. Definitely Ghostbusters is number one for me. I might even just say Beastman is number two. And third, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Foghorn Leghorn as my three favorite. Now, again, the thing with these is that each one of the pins also come with a corresponding magnet. How it works is that you're still getting the pin, but you're also getting a magnet backing to them. And like I said, each one of the pins is represented. So there's the Beast Man, uh, there's the Foghorn Leghorn, uh, there's Cartoon R2, Johnny Cage. And again, the Ghostbusters logo. All you do really is just, you get the two magnet pieces where you get one magnet piece and then you get the, the actual pin part. You peel off the back of the magnet, squish it together. You don't have to necessarily make that noise. And you've got the same pin that you adored having on your clothing, you can now also put onto your fridge or anywhere else that's basically, that would allow a magnet to attach. Something that's metal, of course. Very, very cool. Let's have a look at the insert card insert sheet that we got for the Zanini box for June 2021. For the pins, we got the Ghostbusters, Johnny Cage, R2-D2, Foghorn, Leghorn, and Beastman. For the cards, we've got comics, Flash, Hulk, Captain America. Uh, for the movies and TV, oh, it seems to get a little blurry when we look at this. Movies and TV is Unforgiven, The Silence of the Lambs, and Breaking Bad and Games, Assassin's Creed, Streets of Rage 4, and Star Master. As I've already stated probably a couple of times already, let's just bring that back in so you guys can see the box perfectly fine. Not a big fan of showboaters, but if you certainly want to showboat some collectible pins, I'm all for the idea of it. If you'd like to get on board, getting the Zanini box delivered to your doorstep, it's simple. It's easy. All you have to do is click the link down below in the video description that will take you on over to Zanini Box's website. And from there, you can subscribe and get pins delivered to your doorstep, like I said, every single month. You're not just getting pins, you're getting magnets, you're getting trading cards. Zanini Box delivers a whole bunch of stuff, as I said, to your doorstep. If you guys are new to this channel, enjoying all the content you're seeing, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and turn the bell notification on. Be sure as well, you keep your peepers peeled to this channel. And uh, of course, because we are going to be looking at other unboxings, but tons of always videos are coming your way. Tons of videos are always coming your way. Let's swap those around. So as always, thanks for watching. See you guys next time.